How did I get the name Mr. Gray? That is a great question. They call me Mr. Gray. It actually came kind of out of nowhere. I, I used to go by another name, per se, for my artistry. And I was writing one night, and I wrote to like, was writing songs and practicing to like 5 a.m. And my roommate at the time, uh, he, he would always listen to what I'd work on and tell me if he was feeling it, if he wasn't feeling it, give me some tips. And, you know, we kind of, the night was winding down. It was like 5 a.m. And... You know, we were just sitting, talking, listening to some music, and he's like, yeah, I really, I really liked hearing what I was hearing in there. You've come a long way. I, I, I feel that. He goes, but your name, it just doesn't, it just doesn't fit. You know, and my name actually at the time, what I used to go by was SJD, which were my initials. Um, and you know what, at that time and at that moment, I was kind of, I used to be attached to it, but at that moment I come like, you know what, you're right. And I just, I, I would change my name to something else if it's more marketable and people will relate to it more. And he goes, well, why don't you, you like that book Fifty Shades of Grey so much. Why don't you call yourself Christian Grey? And I laughed at first. I'm like, well, I couldn't call myself Christian Grey. That, that would be copyright infringement. But I go, Mr. Grey. And I go, I can't spell it the same way either. I'd have to spell it different. So the first thing I did was run to my computer and type domain names of different ways Grey could be spelled. And I came across G-R-E-I. And I saw that that was available. And I got it. And from that night forward, I became Mr. Gray. They call me Mr. Gray.